Hello, welcome back to this channel. I'm Marcus, and in this video, we'll talk about parametric equations. Okay, so for example, um, x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. Okay, so for any uh, value given to theta, it will produce a pair of values for x and y, which later on, pwede mo siyang iplot as uh, y equals f of x. Okay. This theta is called a parameter. These two equations are called the parametric equations. And actually, these two equations are equations for circle. No? Parametric equations for circle. So why? So from our geometry, we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Correct? So x squared plus y squared. So let's use these two. So x is uh, r cosine uh, theta squared plus r sine theta square okay then uh, factoring out uh, r or r square so we have cosine theta or cosine square theta plus sine square theta and we know from trigonometry that this is equal to one so we have x square plus y square equals r square so all these two is or are you know, parametric equations of circle yes okay another example let's say um uh, given yung x and y x and y in uh, in terms of a third variable or a parameter say theta okay we can solve the uh, first derivative of y with respect to x as say dy over d theta multiplied by d theta over dx no and th this is actually a chain rule okay and we can rewrite this as dy over d theta over dx over d theta so, I think gagamitin natin sa mga problems, no? Yan. This is the first derivative. Okay? So, to find the uh, second differential or the uh, second derivative of y with respect to x, given din yung uh, third variable natin or the parameter. So, differentiate din natin siya, yung dy over dx with respect to theta. Okay? But, we need to multiply this by d theta over dx. Para hindi magbago equations. As you can see, yung d theta magkakansel lang. Di ba? Then d times dy is d square y. Then dx times dx is dx square. So, pares lang. The second derivative y of y with respect to x. And, actually, we can rewrite this also, no? As the derivative of dy over dx with respect to theta over dx over d theta. So, magagamit natin tong equations na to in solving for the second differential or second derivative. Okay? So, gamitin natin ito and ito sa mga problems. Kasi minsan, or madalas, no? Uh, especially if you're, uh, if we are talking about uh, cardioid, ellipse, hyperbola, yeah, circle. So, mas madaling gamitin itong mga parametric equations, no? Marami pa eh. May mga um, a hyperbola, rectangular hyperbola, uh, asteroid uh, ano pa ba yung mga ibang mga curves marami, marami pa tayong mapagagamitan yan so may encounter niya natin sila sa mga problems na gagawin natin no? okay, so solve na tayo ng mga problems okay, so let's see number uh, 1 okay, uh, given x equals 5 theta minus 1 and y equals 2 theta times uh, quantity theta minus 1 determine dy over dx in terms of theta. Okay? So, as you can see, meron tayong parametric equations and x is given as 5 theta minus 1. Then, meron din tayong uh, y equals 2 theta then times quantity theta minus 1. But, we are asked to find dy over dx so in terms of theta. So, di ba? So, ganun, no? So, sa equation natin, we will use yung ating first differential or first derivative. Yung ginawa natin sa chain rule. Okay? So, let's see. Let's uh, differentiate x with respect to theta. So, madali lang din to, ano? So, let's write this uh, equation. So, we have uh, 5 theta minus 1. And uh, differentiate dx with respect to theta. So, we have here 5. Yes. And uh, for y equals to theta, this is theta minus 1. Okay? And uh, differentiate dy or y. Differentiate y with respect to theta. Okay? So, ilan ito? So, pwede natin itong i-expand, no? Or i- uh, I mean, i-distribute. Okay? So, minus 2 
to theta. Okay. So, I'll differentiate uh, y with respect to theta. We have 4 theta minus 2. Okay? So, yun na. So, in solving for dy over dx, ang sabi natin kanina is dy over d theta times d theta over d, dx. Or, pwede natin siyang i-write as dy over d theta over dx over d theta. Correct? Yes. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong dy over d theta, and meron tayong dx over d theta. So, lagay lang natin siya dito. dy over d theta is 4 theta minus 2. And dx over d theta is 5. O, oh, yan ay sagot natin. This is dy over dx in terms of theta. So, this is the answer. Okay? So, another problem. Okay, problem two. The parametric equations of a function are given by y equals 3 cosine 2t, x equals 2 sine t. Determine the expressions dy over dx and d square y over dx square. So, first differential and the second, no? Okay, so for the uh, solution, so y equals 3 cosine uh, 2 theta, or 2t, sorry. The third variable is t. Now, this is the parameter. So, we differentiate this with respect to t. Okay. So, 3 times the derivative of cosine 2t is a negative sine 2t. Then, the derivative of 2t is 2. Or, this is equal to minus 6 sine 2t. Okay. Then, uh... The other equation is x equals 2 sine t. So, differentiate this with respect to t. So, we have 2 cosine of t. Derivative of t with respect to t is 1. Okay. So, there. So, to find dy over dx. So, dito na lang, no? To find dy over dx, we have dx, I mean dy over dt over dx over dt. And uh, dy over dt is negative 6 sine 2t. Okay? Over uh, dx over dt is this. Now, 2 cosine t. So, 2 cosine t. Okay? So, from uh, trigonometry, okay, uh, ano to? double angle, no? So, we have uh, minus 6 times uh, 2 sine t cosine t. Okay, dinerive na natin to last time, no? Okay, so over cosine t or 2 cosine t. Okay, so cancel and yung 2. So, ang natira is minus 6 sine t. So, dx, I mean dy over dx is negative sine t. Okay, tulad natin dito dy over dx is equal to minus 6 sine t. So, I think answer for this, no? So, dy over dx. Okay, so, sagutan natin yung second uh, derivative. Second derivative of y with respect to x. So, d square y over dx square is equal to the derivative, okay, Ulit natin sa taas. So, we have the derivative of dy over dt. I mean, dy over dx with respect to t. Yan. Okay. Over uh, dx over dt. Yon. Okay. So, pinatan lang natin yung uh, theta kanina, ano? Doon sa ating ginawa. So, ito rin yun. So, ibig sabihin, we will differentiate dy over dx ito with respect to t. So, what is the derivative of this? No? This is the dy over dx. So, differentiate natin siya with respect to t. Okay? So, this is minus 6. Okay? Derivative of sine is cosine t. Okay? Then, over... Um, what's dx over dt? This is cosine... Uh, 2, 2 cosine yan. 2 cosine of t. Okay? 
So the answer is minus 3. So the second derivative of y with respect to x is minus 3. So ganun lang. Okay? So yun yung answer natin for number 2. So this is the second derivative. This is the first derivative. Okay? So number 3 na tayo. Okay, a parabola has a parametric equations x equals t square, y equals 2t, evaluate dy over dx when t equals 0 0.5. Okay, so we have x equals t square. So dx over dt is equal to 2t. Then y equals 2t. Okay, eto na. So, we have dy over dt, or is equal to 2. Okay? Then, to find dy over dx, I mean dy over dx, correct? Yes. So, we have dy over dt over dx over dt. And dy over dt is 2. Okay? Then, dx over dt is 2t. 2t. So, this is equal to 1 over t. Okay? When t is 0 0.5, so dy over dx is 1 over 0 0.5 or 1 over 1 half or this is equal to 2. So, this is the answer. Oh, madali lang, no? Okay, number 4. Okay, number 4. The uh, parametric equations for an... In an ellipse our x equals 4 cosine theta y equals sine theta determine dy over dx and a second derivative of y with respect to x okay solution okay so x equals 4 cosine theta okay and parameter natin is the theta so dx over d theta is equal to 4, derivative of cosine theta is uh, negative sine theta. Okay? Or this is minus 4 sine theta. Next, y equals sine theta. So dy over d theta is equal to, anong derivative nito? Cosine, ano? Cosine theta. Yes. Now, to find dy over dx, ito na lang. So, dy over dx is equal to dy over d theta over dx over d theta. And dy over d theta is cosine, cosine theta over uh, dx over d theta, which is four, negative 4. Negative 4 sine uh, theta. Okay. Or this is equal to cosine over sine is cotangent. Or negative 1 fourth times cotangent of theta. So this is the dy over dx. Okay. So next. Okay. Uh, d square y over dx square second derivative second derivative of y with respect to x equal to the derivative okay the derivative of dy over dx with respect to theta over dx over d theta yon so what is the derivative of dx dy over dx ito negative one fourth cotangent theta okay so ang derivative ng cotangent minus cosecant theta no okay so we have one fourth okay then minus or times negative cosecant of theta square square pa no o nga square pa okay so square theta there 
over over what? dx over d theta is minus 4 sine theta. Okay, ingat tayo kasi baka magkamali, no? Hirap magulit. Okay, so minus minus, so we have plus, then minus. So minus equals minus 1 over 16, okay? Times uh, cosecant square theta over sine theta. Okay. Cosecant theta, recall lang, no? Is equal to 1 over 1 over sine theta, di ba? Okay, tama. Recall lang, recall. So, we have we have ito na lang. The second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to Sorry, right lang. 1 over 16, negative 1 over 16, times, okay, 1 over sine square. Sine square theta. Times sine theta. Ayun. Okay, so this is equal to negative 1 over 16 sine cube theta. Okay, or, pwede natin siyang ibalik sa cosecant, no? Or, negative cosecant, cosecant uh, cube, theta over 16. So, this is the second derivative of y with respect to x in terms of theta. Okay? Yes, yeah, so next problem. Okay, problem number 5. Evaluate dy over dx at theta equals pi over 6 radians for the hyperbola whose parametric equations are x equals 3 second theta and y equals 6 tangent theta. Okay, so basta importante dito, marunong tayong mag-differentiate, no? Okay, so x equals 3 uh, second theta. Okay, so we have dx over d theta equals 3. The derivative of second theta is sec, tana, no? sec theta tangent theta. Okay, then y equals 6 tangent theta. Then dy over d theta is equal to 6 times... Ano to? Ang derivative ng tangent theta is second square theta. Okay. Then, to find dy, okay, dy over dx, this is dy over d theta over dx over d theta. And dy over d theta is 6 second square theta over 3 second theta tangent theta or dy over dx is okay bawasan natin then may natirang dalawa so okay so 2 2 second theta over tangent theta okay so pa no uh, second theta is uh, 1 over cosine okay so, we have 2, okay, 2 times 1 over cosine theta, okay? And tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta, okay? Tanggalin na natin to. So, we have 2 over, 2 over sine theta, okay? So, what is dy over dx when theta is pi over 6 region. So, dy over dx is equal to 2 over a sine pi over 6. Uh, well, pi over 6 is ilan ba ito? Pi 180 over over 6 is sine 30. Sine 30 is 1 half. Correct? 
Uh, let's uh, use our calculator to check. Okay. So, gawin natin siyang uh, radian. So, shift mode 4. Okay. So, sine pi over 6 is one half, no? But uh, we'll see. So, sine of pi over 6 equals... One half, di ba? Okay. So, alis na natin ulit yan. Mm -hmm. So, one half. Okay. So, two over one half or this is equal to four. So, the dy over dx is equal to four. Yon. Okay. Yes. Okay, problem number six. The equation of a tangent drawn to a curve at point x sub 1, y sub 1 is given by y minus y sub 1, dy sub 1 over dx sub 1 times quantity x minus x sub 1. Okay, determine the equation of the tangent drawn to the ellipse x equals 3 cosine theta and y equals 2 sine theta at theta equals pi over 6. Ang haba ng uh, problem. <laughs> okay. So, ating hinahanap is the equation of the tangent drawn to the ellipse. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. Solution. So, from ating equation natin. No? So, y minus y sub 1 equals uh, dy sub 1 over dx sub 1 times quantity x minus x sub 1. Okay. So, meron na tayong y sub 1. Ito yun eh, itong 2 sine theta. Meron na rin tayong x sub 1 which is 3 cosine theta. Meron na rin tayong pang-evaluate which, which is theta is pi over 6. So, ang kulang natin is dy sub 1 over dx sub 1. O, siya eh. Kukunin natin yan. Sige. So, paano? So, ito muna ang x. So, x is equal to 3 cosine theta. Okay. So, dx over d theta is equal to 3 times the derivative of this is minus sine theta. Or this is minus 3 sine theta. Okay. How about, lagyan natin ng sub 1. Ano? Sub 1. Yan. Sub 1. Okay. Next. Y sub 1 is equal to? 2 sine theta, derivative of y sub 1 over d theta is equal to, okay, anong derivative nito? Cosine, positive. So, 2 cosine theta. Okay, then to find um, the dy sub 1, okay, over dx sub 1, we have, uh, dy sub 1 over d theta over dx sub 1 over d theta. Okay, dy sub 1 over d theta is 2 cosine theta over minus 3 sine theta. Okay, so ano ba ito? This is uh, cotangent, no? Okay, so we have a minus two-thirds. Minus two-thirds, okay, cotangent of theta. Okay, so what is the um, equation now? So meron na tayong uh, dy sub 1 over dx sub 1. Okay, hindi natin kailangan yung second differential kasi hindi naman siya kailangan dito sa equation. Equation of tangent natin, no? Ito yun. So, y minus y sub 1 is 2 sine theta. Yan. 2 sine theta equals dy sub 1 over dx sub 1. Ito na yun. So, minus 2 thirds. Then, cotangent of theta times quantity x minus x sub 1, which is 3 cosine of theta. Okay, then anong sabi? At theta equals pi over 6, ano daw yung equation of 
a tangent. So we have y minus 2 times sine pi over 6 equals minus 2 over 3. Cotangent is the same with uh, 1 over tangent, no? Oh, pwede rin. Sige, gawin natin siyang 1 over tangent. 1 over tangent of pi over 6. Parehas lang, no? Yes. So, we have x minus 3 cosine of pi over 6. There. Okay, so evaluate. So, we have y minus 2 sine pi over 6. Ginawa na natin to, no? This is 1 half. Yes. So, this is equal to minus 2 thirds. Tangent pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 3. Nasa ilalim. So, pag ni-rationalize mo or binaligtad mo, we have uh, square root of 3. Yes? Let's see. Pwede naman niyang uh, i-compute. Eh. Uh, so, tangent of... Okay. So, tangent... Tangent of pi pi over 6. Okay, equals square root of 3 over 3, di ba? Then, inverse, square root of 3. Correct, no? Okay, so square root of 3. Okay, let's uh, continue. So, ito na ang cotangent theta, no? Cotangent pi over 6 is square root of 3. Okay, multiplied by x minus 3 cosine of pi over 6. What is cosine pi over 6? Square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Square root of 3 over 2. I mean, uh, cosine pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Asin natin cosine. So, hindi nakasali yan. Ah, sige. Asin ko na itong cosine. So, square root of uh, times the square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Kung nalimutan nyo ng trigo, okay, so, pwede may recall. Or pwede rin gamitan ng Calculate. Uh, let's check, no? Check natin using our calculator. Okay. So we have cosine of cosine of pi over six is square root of three over two. Oh, di ba? Yes. So pwede rin walang calcul. Okay. Hindi pa tayo tapos, no? So, simplify natin ito. Para makuha natin equation of tangent. Okay. So, ilan ito? 1 na lang to, no? So, y minus 1. Okay. Equals. Okay. Parang kailangan pala ng calcul. Medyo mahirap tong i-multiply. Sige. So, uh, teka lang. Labas natin yung calcul natin. There. Okay. So, we have uh, Busog natin. Yan. Okay. So, we have minus two-thirds. Okay. Minus two-thirds. Yan. Minus two-thirds. Times. Times square root of three. So, ingat lang tayo, no? Square root of 3 equals. So, this is um, minus 1.15. Okay? Minus 1.15. Okay? Times x. Minus. Okay? Uh, 3 times square root of 3. Sige. So, 3 by square root of 3. Then, uh, this is over 2. Oops. Mali yun, no? Sige, equals muna. Then, divide 2. Equals. So, we have 2.5 or 2.6. 2.6. Okay. So, pwede natin siyang, o, oh, alsin na natin to. O, dito na lang. Pwede na rin, no? So, y e minus 1 equals negative 1.15x. Okay. Plus, let's multiply this to 1.15. Times 1.15. So, that's 2.99. So, plus 
Okay, so alsin natin yun. Lipat natin yung positive 1 sa kabila. So we have y equals uh, minus 1.15x plus 3.99. Yon ang equation natin. So this is the answer. Okay. There. Okay, next problem. Okay, let's do problem number 7. Okay, uh, cycloid has parametric equations x equals 2 times quantity theta minus sine theta, y equals 2 times quantity 1 minus cosine theta, evaluate at theta equals 0.62 radian, dy over dx, and d square y over dx square. Okay, solution. So, x equals 2 times quantity theta minus sine theta, or... This is 2 theta minus 2 sine theta. Then dx over d theta is equal to derivative of 2 theta is 2 minus 2 cosine of theta. Okay. Factor out 2. We have 1 minus cosine theta. Okay. Then x or y, no? So y equals 2. Uh, times 1 minus cosine theta. So we have 2 minus 2 cosine theta. So dy over d theta is equal to uh, minus, minus, so positive 2 sine theta. Okay. So let's uh, solve for dy over dx. This is equal to dy over d theta over dx over d theta. Okay, and dy over d theta is 2 sine theta over this, 2 times 1 minus cosine theta. Okay, so we have dy over dx equals sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta. Okay, and when theta is... 0.62 radian. Okay. So, theta is, dito na lang, theta is 0.62 radian. So, what is dy over dx? Okay. So, calculator na lang ito, no? So, let's see. Let's, uh, where's the calcu? Okay. There. So, we have, uh-huh. So, ilan to? Sine. Okay. So, we have sine. Oh, don't forget to. Radian dapat yan. Ha? So, sine. 0.62. Okay. Over 1. Minus. Cosine of 0.62. Press equals. 3.12. So, the answer is 3.12. So, yung answer. Okay. Pag-ulit natin to. Yan. Para meron tayong space. There. So, let's solve for uh, d square y over dx square. So, second derivative. Ige. So, dy or d square y over dx square is equal to ano nga sabi natin? The derivative of dy over dx with respect to theta over dx over d theta. Okay? So, ito yung dy over dx. Ito, no? Yan. Habang di pa siya na-evaluate, ito pa yon. So, sulat natin. So, we have the derivative of d theta times dy over dx. So, sine theta over 1 minus cosine theta over over this, no? Okay, so 2 times 1 minus cosine theta. Okay. So, dito na lang. Quotient. So, meron tayong u over v. So, ano nga yun? v du minus u dv over v square. Okay, so ganun lang, no? So, we have here um, medyo mahaba ito, no? So, 
V is 1 minus cosine. Tama? 1 minus cosine theta. Wait lang. Kasi kailangan pa ng denominator. Dilitan ko sulat. Dilitan ko sulat. Ha? Para makita. Para may space. Okay. So, VDU. So, over to. No? Over. May over yan. No? Okay. There. Kunyari, ganyan, ha? So, V, D, U, V. Pakihan ko na nga. <laughs> so, V, D, U, okay. 1 minus cosine theta, V. Then, derivative of sine is cosine. Yes. Okay. Minus U, D, V. O, U yung sine. Derivative of, ito, nasa ilalim, is derivative of Cosine, negative sine times a negative. O, oh, this sine, theta, yes. Over, 1 minus cosine square. Cosine theta square, no? Yan. O, oh, di ba? Correct. Correct. Then, over, all over, 2 times quantity 1 minus cosine theta. O, oh, di ba? Ang haba yung ating ano. Okay, sige. Simplify na lang to. Actually, pwede mo siyang i-evaluate sa theta equals 0.62 radian. Kung ayaw mo na mag-simplify. Pero sige, gamitan natin ng konting algebra. Pwede naman, no? So, sige. So, uh, the se uh, second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to. Okay, isang mahabang line. Okay, sige. Ito, 1 minus cosine theta squared. Bababa na yan, ano? Yes. So, yan ay 2 times 1 minus cosine uh, theta, then cube. Okay, so, yan na lang ang numerator natin. Sige, trabahuhin natin to. So, we have cosine theta, then times minus cosine squared theta, minus sine squared theta. Okay, so, equals... Okay, parang may makikita ako dito, no? So, sige. Cosine theta. Ilabas natin yung negative. Minus. So, magiging positive na to. Cosine square theta plus sine square theta. There. Over 2 times 1 minus cosine theta cube. O, ito ay 1, di ba? Yan. Ayos. Yan. May isa pa palang problem. Okay. Sige. So, we have d square y over dx square is cosine theta minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus cosine theta raised to 3. So, evaluate this at theta is point what? Point sixty. 2 radian. Okay. So, 0.62 radian. Sige. So, we have cosine of 0.62 radian minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus cosine 0.62 radian. Okay. Then, cube equals. Okay. So, gamitan natin ang calculator. Okay. Sige. Uh, bring out our calc you there okay so mm -hmm. so cosine of 0.62 there minus 1 over 2 times uh, quantity oh, natin dalawang parenthesis 1 minus cosine of 0.62 okay then we raise this to 3. Press equals. Syntax error. Okay. Sobra tayo na. Ano mali natin? Ah, sobra tayo na. Parenthesis. Okay. Press equals. Minus 14.43. Yo. So, yun yung answer. Yes. 
Yes. Okay, last number. Problem number 8. Let's solve this. Okay, for the solution, litan lang natin. Para kasha yung calculate natin later. Okay. Solution. There. So, x equals 5 times quantity 2 theta minus cosine 2 theta. Or, this is equal to 10 theta minus 5 cosine 2 theta. So, dx over d theta is 10 minus okay 5 derivative of cosine is minus sine so positive na to okay so sine 2 theta times 2 oh ayun meron pa so 10 pala dapat to no okay so times 2 so we have 10 factoring out 10 no 10 times quantity 1 plus sine 2 theta there. Okay. Next, y. y is 5 times quantity 2 sine theta minus sine 2 theta. Okay. Or 10 sine theta mm -hmm, minus 5 sine 2 theta. Okay. So dy over d theta is equal to 10 times cosine theta. Okay, then minus, minus 5, okay, meron pang 2, no? So, sama na natin. So, 10, then cosine 2 theta, there. Then, 10 times quantity cosine theta minus cosine 2 theta. Okay, so what is dy? over dx I mean dy over dx <laughs> okay sige equal to haba na kasi dami na natin si nold eh, no? so sige uh, ano nga yun? so dy over d theta over dx over d theta yan equals this 10 times cosine theta minus cosine of 2 theta okay then, over this, yeah. So, 10 times 1 plus sine 2 theta. So, cancel na to. So, we have cosine theta minus cosine 2 theta over 1 plus sine 2 theta. Okay, ang kailangan natin is the second derivative. Okay, so we have here the second derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, so this is the derivative of dy over dx. Ito. So we have cosine theta minus cosine 2 theta all over 1 plus sine 2 theta. Okay, with respect to theta. All over dx over d theta. Asa na yon? Here. So 10. So 10 times. I think dx over d theta. No? Okay. 1 plus sine 2 theta. Ang sabi, evaluate this when theta is pi over 6. No? When theta is pi over 6. Okay. So, ganito, no? Pwede mo siyang i-differentiate, pero dapat mo siya i-differentiate, no? Pero bigyan ko lang yun ng uh, mabilis, no? Ganito. So, yung uh, normal ginagawa natin, ito, quotient ito, derivative ng uh, uh, quotient, no? So, we have, uh, ito yung u, cosine theta minus cosine 2 theta, over v, ito yung v, 1 plus sine 2 theta. So, VDU minus UDB over V square. So, yun yung derivative nun, no? Or, since meron naman tayong uh, condition dito that theta is pi over 6, pwede natin itong idiretso sa calculator, no? 
So parang pang board exam and the thing, no? Sige, try lang. Pero itry nyo rin dyan sa, sa inyo, isolve ito ng long method. So gagamit lang natin siya ng uh, calculator. Okay, sige. So we have uh, ito, uh, second derivative of y with respect to x equals. So labas natin yung ating uh, Casio. Yan. So we have Uh-huh. So, kailangan naka-radian tayo, no? Para sure. O, oh, ayan. Shift, mode, then press 4. Radian na yan, no? Okay. So, ang sabi rito is, the derivative of this, when theta is pi over 6, no? And ito rin, pi over 6 din yung theta. So, ang gawin natin is, ito, no? Shift, then press this. Yan. Derivative na yan, no? Derivative of shortcut, eh, no? Pwede yan. Okay, so we have cosine of uh, theta, alpha x. Uh, x ang gamitin natin, no? Yan, x. Oops. Alpha, parenthesis, then x, okay. Then minus, minus, cosine of 2, then x, okay, close. Over, over, no? Over 1 plus sine, sine 2, theta. Yun. When x or when theta is, o, oh, lagay natin dito, pi over 6, press equals, 0.55. Oh, store natin, no? Hindi pa natin na-compute na sa denominator. So, this is 0.555. Parang sardines pala to, no? Over, eto rin, evaluate natin sa pi over 6. Yes. Sige, pwede. So, 10 times quantity 1 plus sine 2. Then, alpha. Yes. Calculate. Pi over 6, no? Yung x natin is pi over 6. Pi over 6. Equals. Iyon, 18.66. Iyon, no? Then, inverse na lang natin to. Times. Nestore ba natin tong 0.55? Anyways, to multiply na rin natin siya. So, equals to, equal to 0.02. 9, 7. So, this is the answer, no? Shortcut. Pero again, kapag hindi nilagay itong uh, when theta is pi over 6, kailangan mo talaga itong i-differentiate. Okay? So, sa board exam, nilalagay din kasi itong uh, ating condition, no? Pang-evaluate natin. Okay? Pero, for example, sa mga classrooms, no? Siyempre, hindi nilagay itong theta is pi over 6 o kung ano man ang value. Kailangan mo siyang gamitan ng derivative. So, kailangan mo itong i-differentiate uh, no? quotient ito. So, VDU minus UDV over V square. Then, over 10 times quantity 1 plus sine 2 theta. So, pwede mo itong uh, gawin after this video. Pwede mo siyang uh, gawin if you will arrive at the same answer. Okay? So, Ang gandito na lang ang video natin. The next video natin is implicit functions. Okay? So, I'll see you there. Okay, bye-bye.